I'm sure I have a feeling I've seen this man before. Do I know you from somewhere? Well, I can't imagine you would, unless you're from around here, and you're clearly not. In my former life, I didn't have much contact with the Azadi, outside of bars and card tables. And you don't look like you visit either of them very often. In my new life, I've been mostly stationed here, at headquarters. We don't see a lot of Azadi visitors. Perhaps in Mercuria? No, I don't see how we could have met there. You must have me confused with someone else. Carry on, laddie. Oh, and make us proud, damn it! So the Apostle has finally risen. A shame the fever didn't kill you. We'd all be better off. An even greater shame that a good man had to die for you to live. No matter the circumstances, I will never let anyone speak to me in that way. I'm certain again that I have seen this Dolmari before. He hates me. But why wouldn't he? His people has caused mine suffering and death. I'm certain that We have met before, Dolmari. I know it. We have. I wouldn't expect you to remember where. I'm sure it mattered little to you. Just one more blue face amongst the thousand you have murdered. Like you, I'm from the West, from the great continent we call Antiqua Abba, land of the setting sun. The place your people call Mihadbir, and then Azadir, as though through occupation you came to possess it. You are of the Azad Dolmari tribes? I am of the Dol Antiqua, the Western Dolmari, first of my people. And yes, we have met before. Apostle Alvani. You murdered my father in front of me. If it hadn't been for my mother holding me back, I would have torn your throat out, and then neither of us would be here today. We faced each other again years afterwards, but I'm sure you have no memory of that either. After all, what's another filthy magical? You made me who I am today, and someday soon... I will unmake you. But I swore to Shepard that I'd set my private grievances aside. For now. Unlike you, I keep my oaths. But if I ever suspect you plan to betray us like you betrayed your own, I will not hesitate. I will kill you. And once this war is over, we'll settle our accounts. You will pay for my father's death, my mother's grief. And my people's suffering. Mark my words, Butcher. Your days are counted. Liko is at Almari from Azadir. We've been at war with his tribes for as long as anyone can remember. Are you ready, Kian? I am. Good. Liko and Enu are joining you. They will tell you what you need to do tonight. How do they expect me to enter the city and not be recognized, even at night? If any Azadi sees me, they'll sound the alarm in an instant. How do you expect me to walk around unseen? Any Azadi will recognize me in an instant. Of course. That's why our Zidmari sorceress made this especially for you. Magic. There's no escaping it here. If you want to help us, I'm afraid you must drink it. A Bakshivan masking potion? Not quite, but a good guess. A masking potion would last for less than an hour. This is a Nirhardian veil. It remains potent for days. It... it makes all but the trained eyes slide off you. Unless I speak to anyone, the guards won't even notice me. I'll be like a shadow to them. It's a very potent and very costly magic. Not easy to come by. You know your potions? When I trained to become an apostle, I was required to learn magic. Know your enemy. I'm sure that will serve you well. Drink it before you step ashore, and the veil will conceal you. But be cautious still. Don't speak to any Azadi guards or sympathizers. Don't attract attention. And remember that those who know you intimately can always see through the veil. 
Liko and Enu are waiting for you down the stairs, in the hidden harbor. But you can't go into Mercuria looking like that. You'll need to get dressed. I've left some clothes on your bed. I trust they will fit you well. What do you think the Asadia building? Those machines and metal cubes everywhere. I hear it's some sort of weapon. A little bird told me it's a new form of indoor plumbing. Apparently, you'd just be able to push a button to get rid of all your... If we keep losing people without winning any ground against the Azadi. I mean, what's the fucking point? You absolute piss. Someone needs to fight. For how long? Until everyone else has stopped caring. The magicals care. Now we shipped out, all of them before we get around to actually doing anything. And then what's the point? I don't know. But we can't just give up, right? Right. Best of luck on your mission. You couldn't ask for better companions than Liko and Eno. Do you get seasick? What? Oh, I just want to know if you're going to get all pukey on us, that's all. I have been on a boat before. Good. Then I don't mind sitting next to you. We've wasted enough time. We need to leave. I'll tell you about the mission once we're on our way. After you, Kian. to split up. There's much to do, and we don't want to arouse suspicion. Maybe some instructions first? I'm hoping your memory is better than the Zid's apostle. There's a traitor in their midst. I need to identify this person before he or she can cause more harm. I'm supposed to visit someone called the Mole. Where can I find this man they call the Mole? Oh, it's not the a... Mole's burrow. Is right here in Shady Quay, Kian. Ah, right. Yes, Kian, you will find the mole close by. He is close by this this man who is called the mole. Who is a human man, obviously. God save us from zidlings and their lack of subtleties. The mole operates an underground supply network out of the magic ghetto. We need food, medicine, and arms. And so we need to maintain a... Uh, Good relations. Whatever the mole asks of you, do it. Without questions. There's a traitor in their midst. I'll be looking for a turncoat in Old Town. Right. Unfortunately, that's all we know. Someone in Old Town spying for the Azadi. He... Or she. <sighs> probably frequents the magic ghetto. But he... Uh, she... Must be human. Or they could not be working with the Azadi. We also believe they attend National Front meetings. National Fronters are traitors, Azadi collaborators. Their leader, Honor Hillaris, holds regular secret meetings somewhere in the city. That's probably our best chance of identifying the traitor. Sneak into one of those meetings and identify our guy. Girl, uh, woman, person? I'll begin my investigations in the market. It's time to get started. I'm ready. You're on your own now. Enu and I have other assignments tonight. Once you've identified the turncoat, I'll meet you in the magic market. It's not far from here. Follow this street into Old Town. Afterwards, we'll meet up at the Cock and Puss. The Rooster and Kitten. It's a tavern on I Reed Avenue, right off the Southgate Market. Ulvik, the publican, is a friend of the Resistance. I'm sure it's all very confusing right now, Kiam, but there are maps everywhere. You can't get lost. Well... You can probably get lost. 
Are you going to get lost? I'll find my way, Anu. Right, good luck, big guy. Guys, both of you... Uh... Goddess, forgive me for this. Mm. Hmm. That tastes pretty good, to be honest. Unless I make myself noticed, or meet someone who knows me well, I'll remain veiled. expecting you. You'll wait your turn in the back. Don't speak unless spoken to. And no funny business. All right? Merely an unfortunate side effect, Madam Mole. I... I don't expect... Unfortunate side effect? Is lot more than unfortunate side effect. Is mud-riddled catastrophe is what is. Everyone in bar sleep. Everyone who drink wine, close eyes and start snore. Not good for business. Well, yes, we put too much of the poppy stem in the mix. I blame the... Don't care. Responsibility on you. You cause disaster, you fix disaster. Poppy stem only to make wine more good, give spice, make more people buy wine. This, this make people not buy wine. This make people sleep and not drink any more wine. Make people buy other wine. This is bad thing, not good thing. Bad, bad thing. So, you fix. How you will fix? Oh, well, see, that's the problem. We've we've run out of poppy stem. It all... it went into that one shipment. Earth, save us from you lot. Without poppy stem, our wine just wine. Nothing extra. No spice. Very well. You get Eden Song from City Green. It grow there. Goat eat it. Goat love it. Goat get dizzy and fall over. Goat never know when enough is enough. Not same as poppy stem, even song, but we'll do for now. Make wine more special again. Thank you, madam. I'll... Mix right amount next time. Not too little or no spice, and not too big, or everyone go sleep. And if everyone sleep, you sleep. You sleep long sleep. Final sleep. Um, oh, right. Gods. Yes, yes, I... Thank you, my lady. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. What are you doing, Azadi? Hmm? Come out of shadow. Let me see you. Maybe she wasn't informed of my visit. Maybe she has no idea I'm with the Resistance and believes that I represent the Azadi. The creature clearly harbors a lot of animosity towards my people. Perhaps that's un- She must know who I am and why I'm here. We need your help. You need something. I need something. Everyone needs something. Let me tell you how my operation work. You do something for me, I do something back. His only way is never first, never, never first, because I am the mole. So sing your song, let me know what you need, and then hear what I need. Come on, come on! I'm asking for help to fight the Azadi. Wouldn't that count as doing for you? But you are Azadi. I am. An apostle. I was. <laughs> I'm not like human. Azadi, they are worst of lot. How I know Azadi not playing me. How I know you not playing me. Goddess, save us all. I am Kian Alvani. 
I was the apostle, but now I'm a rebel. I'm here to make my people leave the Northlands and return to Azadir, and to ensure our so-called leaders stand trial for their crimes. I don't know. Smell like trap. But let us pretend you speak truth. What you want with the mole? I was told you could help us with weapons and supplies. Maybe the mole can help with weapon, maybe she cannot. But before this question answered, you help me with something. Scratch back. Scratch? It's just saying. Not want your oversized hand all over back. Favour for me. Favour for you in turn. What do you need? Need to intercept a runner. Messenger who pass word between guard station in city. There is letter I need. You help Mole do this, Mole will consider your problem. I can do that. Good for you, Apostle no more. One condition. This runner. You will not hurt him. I will not. Why not? They use young men for runners. Boys. They have fought no battles. Killed no rebels or magicals. They don't deserve to die. They are still enemy. I need your promise. I promise, I promise. No one hurt your little runner. My man there will mark place on map where runner pass. From there you find place to take message from runner with no guard watching. Remember, no one must see. Very important this. You take letter from runner, we get letter from you, everyone goes separate way, everyone happy. When job done, talk to the mole again. The mole will be ready to talk business. I wonder what sort of magical this one is. I've heard soldiers returning from the northern forests talk about the mole people who burrow into the mud. What are you? What I am, he asked. What I am? I am the mole. That's not the name of your species. My species, he say. The Azadi, always so tactful, always so sensitive. In my tongue, that name be Banda Banta. It mean tiny folk who sing to earth and shape it. Or something like this. It's fancy way of saying we live in muck, know many song and dig deep tunnel. So we are mole, deep dweller, digger, mole with fancy name, who speak and sing and also magic. Except a Zardi come and put fire and smoke in Banda Tunnel. And when Banda come out, a Zardi slaughter. Every one of us, man, woman, child, infant, no mole spared except me. Except old woman. Left me for dead. I am last of species, Azadi. Last of people. Last of Banda Banta. Last of Mole. I am the Mole. And now you go and come back only when finished. Go. Shoot. Leave. You know door. Easy to find. Still open. He keeps an eye on me. times. The mole's well protected.
You tried to steal my purse. So? You're a Zardi. That's the worst excuse ever for stealing a purse. You could get your arm chopped off. So far, so good. Lucky for you, I'm not a Zardi. Now scram. How tall are you? You're really tall. Leave me alone, boy. You're a lot taller than my dad. Are you sure you're not a Zardi? Yes. You look a Zardi. Are you a soldier? Why aren't you in uniform? Are you secret police? What? No. Run off before I lose my patience with you. You sure look like one of them. Oh, for the love of the goddess. What's your name, boy? Bip. Bip? Yeah. So? You should be with your mother, Bip. Not out on your own, thieving. Go home. Can't. I ain't got one. I'm sorry. You should still not... They're not dead or anything. Uh, my parents. They were just sent to Guillen. Guillen. That's where the Magicals are sent. They don't come back from there. The boy probably has no idea what happens on Guillen. Guillen. To the prison colony. Re-education camp. That's what my father said. They probably didn't listen very well in school when they were children. They'll be back when they've been properly re-educated. No one comes back from the islands. Not magicals. What do you mean? I mean... Are you saying they're going to stay there forever? He's only a boy. But so was I when I became an orphan. The boy can't be more than ten. He doesn't need to know the truth just yet. I'm sure they're coming back. You don't believe that? I... do not. So why are you lying to me? To protect you from the truth. I don't need to be protected. I can take care of myself. I'm sure you can. So what's going to happen to them? You shouldn't think of such things. Do you have no family here? Not in Mercuria. They're all in the Southlands. What's going to happen to them? They will be put to work. That's what the prison camps are for. To keep the Magicals away from humans. To segregate them. Segregate? To keep Magicals apart from humans. Forever. You're lying. I am not. Truly. You're one of them. Why are you here? Are you going to take me and send me to be a seg segregate? Segregated. Two? I'm not one of them. Well, you sure look and sound like them. I'm sorry about your parents, but I have things I need to do. Are you with the Resistance? Uh, resistance? Well, of course not. I'm... Because I ever heard someone saying there's an Azadi in the Resistance now. And if you're Azadi, and you're here, and you have things to do, that sounds an awful lot like you're with the Resistance. Keep your voice down, boy. Don't worry. Everyone in Old Town supports the Resistance. Most everyone, anyway. What do you mean by most everyone? I mean that there are some who don't support the Resistance, some who sneak off to National Front Assemblies, some who rat out rebels to the Azadi. Do you know anyone like that? No. Well, I don't know their faces, but I know where there's a National Front Assembly tonight. Show me. What? Show me where. I get to go on a mission with you. That's... that's... so incredibly cool! Calm down, boy. I just want you to tell me where it is. How well do you know the city? Well, not... very. Right. So I'll show you. Too complicated to tell you. It's not safe. For you? No. For me? I leave the ghetto all the time when it's dark. I know where to go, where the guards are posted, their patrol routes, everything. I'm like a rogue, one with the shadows, the veiled avenger. I'm an assassin. Oh. But just show me the way, and then you're coming straight back here. I'll just stay for a little while. Straight back. Or I find someone else to take me. Good luck with that. But fine, I'll come straight back. Are you ready? Can we go now? There's no reason to delay that. I should explore first. Will you wait for me here? Oh, man. But we are going, right? Tonight? Soon. Fine. I'll wait. Exotic oils, foreign herbs, soothing salves, ointments.
after my shift's over. Who's there? Next week, I get a lead mark here for the first time in months. Go That's ahead. the boy I'm supposed to intercept. I'm so sick of this shit staying in the city. A runner passing messages between checkpoints. Delivered, Dar. A runner passing messages between checkpoints. <laughs> uh, let's see. Which way is it again? It's so hard to see anything in this light. Right, left. Left's right. Uh, um, uh, left. It says Watcher's Court. The sign reads. Earthrin's ascent. Earthrin's ascent. Left, not right. Right, don't sound right. But hey, signs never lie. Right ears. This down low, right. map of the southernmost parts of Mercuria.
I hear we're getting visitors from Sadir soon. I wonder who it could be. Or maybe the General's returning. 